Good evening, everybody, and welcome back once again to Maximus the Fourth. What I have here are two cans of Pepsi Lime. The first one is from the original release in 2005, and then the other one is from the latest released from 2024 here, right now, currently as we speak. The title of today's video is going to be What Was Actually Different Between These Two Pepsi Limes? Today, I'm going to walk you guys through the entire chart of the ingredients on both of these Pepsi Limes. I'm going to read the ingredients on both, and then we're going to go over what's the same about both of these. And then we're going to take an extra special deep dive and tackle every single last one of the differences. So here we go. Starting first with Pepsi Lime from 2005. It had carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, natural flavors, phosphoric acid, potassium benzoic, which preserves the freshness, potassium citrate, and caffeine. Now, here's the latest version from 2024. It had carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural flavor, caramel color, phosphoric acid, caffeine, and citric acid. Now, Let's take a look at the exact same things of these two. So they both have carbonated water at number one, and they both have high fructose corn syrup at number two. That is what's identical between these two. Now we have that out of the way. The first difference is that the can of Pepsi Lime from 2005 had a total of eight different ingredients, whereas the modern day Pepsi Lime from 2024 had seven different ingredients. The next difference is that while on the old Pepsi Lime, at ingredient number three they had caramel color, and then ingredient number four they had natural flavors, they took ingredients number three and four and flip-flopped them with the 2024 version. And this one had natural flavors, and at number three, and at number four it had caramel color. So this one had more natural flavor than the old one, and this one had less caramel color than the old one. And before I get too far ahead of myself, the next thing that was actually identical between these two is they both had phosphoric acid at ingredient number five. The next difference is that while the original Pepsi Lime had potassium benzoic at ingredient number six, which helped preserve the freshness, Pepsi Lime from 2024 didn't have potassium benzoic at all whatsoever. There was nothing that was put in this to help preserve the freshness. So this one was made a little bit better off of that alone. The next distinct difference is that the old can of Pepsi Lime had potassium citrate, while the modern day one did not have potassium citrate in it at all. The next difference is that the old can of Pepsi Lime from 2005 had caffeine placed at ingredient number eight, while the modern day can was placed, as far as the caffeine's concerned, at ingredient number six. The amount of caffeine that it clearly says on the can from 2024 clearly says 38 milligrams of caffeine. However, the original can of Pepsi Lime from 2005 it doesn't say how many milligrams of caffeine there are in this one. But, let me give you the old Maximus IV estimate. Consider the following. While the original Pepsi Lime had 8 ingredients, in 2024 one had 7 ingredients, the caffeine content was placed at ingredient number 8 on the 24 can, and then the caffeine was placed, or excuse me, the caffeine was at ingredient number eight on the original can, and then the caffeine was at number six on the modern day can. So that right there automatically tells us that this one definitely has more caffeine in it at 38 milligrams. But how many milligrams of caffeine are in this one? Well, because there's one more ingredient in the modern day Pepsi Lime than the original one, and 
the uh, 2024 can has caffeine at ingredient number six, while the old one has caffeine at ingredient number eight, I took an estimate and shaved about four milligrams off of caffeine that this might have, which would put this one at 34 milligrams of caffeine, standing next to 38 milligrams of caffeine. It's just a theory, but that is the best estimate that I could come up with. It makes sense to me. And that does it for the caffeine on both of these. Now the next difference between the two of these, which was actually really, really good for the modern day one, is while the modern day Pepsi Lime has citric acid at ingredient number seven, the classic can from 2005 doesn't have citric acid at all whatsoever. And that is a big time loss for the old one because this one, because of the citric acid, it's going to give you a little bit more of a punch and a bite to it. Even though there's people that complain that you couldn't really taste the lime in this, it's definitely going to give you a little bit more of a better experience of trying to drink it and give you a better, a better uh, texture and all around vibe and experience, better experience drinking from this one because of the citric acid alone. It's just a great ingredient in soda. So this was a big loss for the original Pepsi Lime. Now, there's one more thing about these that are completely identical. They both have 150 calories. Now, here's another difference to dig really deep. While the old Pepsi Lime had high fructose corn syrup in it, just like the modern day one, it had 41 grams of sugar in it whereas the modern day one had 39 grams of sugar. So the old one had just a little bit more sugar in it than the modern day one. The next difference between both of these is the old Pepsi Lime stood at 35 milligrams of sodium, which has more than the modern day one that's standing at 30 milligrams of sodium. And the next and absolute final difference between the two of these is that the old Pepsi Lime from 2005 had 41 grams of carbohydrates, whereas the Pepsi Lime from 2024 had slightly less at 40 grams of carbohydrates. And that is the complete scan of the ingredients between both of these Pepsi Limes. So at the end of the day, the question that needs to be asked is, which one was better? Well, let's take a look. The only very distinct difference that I can see on the original Pepsi Lime that was better is it had potassium benzoate. That's going to help preserve the freshness. So that means if the modern day one sat for 20 years next to the Pepsi Lime and they both sat for 20 years, this one would turn out probably a little bit better tasting as far as the shelf life is concerned. But again, let me ask. Which one was better? Well, I think, according to the ingredients, the Pepsi Lime from 2024 was better because it had citric acid in it. I'm telling you, the citric acid gives it a lot more dynamic taste, experience, and texture. Like I said earlier in this video, the fact that this one didn't have citric acid was a big loss. And it's no wonder that Pepsi Lime failed so horribly bad back in 2005, only lasting up until 2007. It still doesn't taste exactly how it should, based on it tasting like lime, but one thing's for sure, this one was definitely a step up. And that is the full deep dive on both Pepsi Limes. I thank you guys for watching. See you later.